Hello, I'm Will from RC Flyer News Magazine, and I'm setting my packs up or caring for my packs, setting them for the winter and getting all of the cells in balance. For that, I'm using the Gropner Polarin AC-DC charger, um, which you can get from gropnerusa.com. Um, I use primarily E-Flight, Conexus, and Thunder Power Packs. The E-Flight Packs you can get from eflightrc.com or you can get them from, th through Horizon Hobbies, the same with the Conexus. Um, the Thunder Power Packs are from thunderpowerrc.com. I prefer these packs over a lot of other packs because they're really good quality. They last a long time. You won't see them puffing and doing the things that some of the less expensive packs do. And they're going to give you a probably real 500 cycles if you take care of them, which is what I'm about to show you now. So let's start out here by showing you that this uh, Polarin charger has seven menus, or eight menus actually. Um, so here's the profile. You can select different profiles, up to 20 different profiles. In auto mode, this is for NICAD and nic nickel metal hydride cells. There we go, NICAD nickel metal hydride cells. But if we change here, let's go to a different cell pack, up to 20 cells or 20 different um, profiles per channel, and this is a two-channel um, charger. So here it is for the timber, which is the one we're going to use. We got it set up for a LiPo, a 3S pack, 11.1 volts, 2200 milliamps. Um, obviously, if we go here, we can step through different, you know, there's one, a 6S 5000 pack. Um, Here's one for the Cub, this LiPo 2S 7.4 volt, 4,000 milliamp hour. Nickel model hydride for my Antares. I'm using 5S packs in that. It's got an older style receiver and servo, so I couldn't use the high voltage setting of the LiPos. And the same here, we got a 5S 2000 for the Cub ignition. But we can have, again, 20 different profiles. So I'm going to get back and I'm going to jump, get back to the uh, timber. And I'm going to jump out of this screen. So here we can go over to the charge and we can set it up for this. Again, see we got a LiPo 3S 2200 milliamp hour pack. The voltage it's going to take the pack to 4.20 volts. The current's going to be 2.2 amps or 1C because this is a 2200 milliamp hour pack. The cutoff voltage is going to be 113 uh, degrees and you can change that. We'll set it for 116 or whatever you want to set it for. We'll take it back here to 100 and 100. Now I'm going to put it at 114. There we go. That's good. So, and the capacity, 105% of capacity. The safety timer, when it's going to shut off, is going to be three, uh, 120 minutes for this 3S pack. The storage voltage is going to be 3.80 volts. Okay, so that's the that's what we would charge. If we go here, we can hit the charge, and we, we there I've got it set for fast mode. There's different modes here. Charge. Uh, let's go here. Uh, let's go here, and they're in store. You know, so there we go. And we're going to go to fast charge. And watch it come up here. Three, two, one, zero. Poop. The charge starts. And here, this screen that you're going to see represents the charge um, curve that this particular charger uses. Okay, so it says it's finished. I charged this pack before, so we're going to get out of there. But here, I want to show you this. If we go down here, here we are. Three cell. Pack voltage, 12.470. Average voltage, 4.156 volts. The gap voltage is four thousandths of a volt. And then if we go down and we look at the different cells, here we go. One is 4.154 volts. One is, the second cell is 4.158 volts. The third cell is 
4.158 volts, okay? So let's, let's get out of here. Let's get back there. And we're gonna hit the stop button and we'll get out of that screen now. And now I'm gonna show you, you can do discharges, all kinds of different. Here's a discharge voltage. We can charge uh, discharge down to three volts per cell at the current we would discharge at is 2.2 amps, which you can change all of this, right? We can say, okay, we're only gonna discharge at two amps or one amp, whatever you wanna do. We're gonna get back out of here. So um, the, here's your cycles. You can charge, discharge, discharge, charge. There's a 10 minute interval there on, the, on these so you don't get your packs too hot. Or um, uh, here we go down here, there's a charge voltage is 2.2 volts, a discharge voltage is two volts, which is what we said in the previous screens, okay? So this one here is, I like this a lot, okay? Here's where you can see, I, I, I balanced this cell, uh, was it yesterday or day before? So it's three cells, again, the pack volt, the average pack voltage, if we jump down here. There we are, we can see it again, 4.154, 4.158, 4.158. And then we jump down. Here is the representation, look at that. This is way cool, you can see that cell number one is a little bit lower than the others, okay? But if we wanted, we could certainly balance this pack. We just go right here and see it's going to check the battery and says, okay, now it's counting down again before it starts. So you can see what's going on, have time to make quick changes. So now it's in the auto mode and it's going to balance in that mode. See, it says balancing here. Okay, so it's going to bring this cell up. Okay, it says it's done, but it, it so close that it, it's, it really is done. So that's what it's saying here. The variation is a hundredth of a volt and we're, we're there. You want to use this screen. I'll find a pack that's way out of balance here in a minute. I'll show you. Let's get out of here. We're gonna stop and then we can get out. Here's where the data gets stored. You can see all your data for you know the pack that you've charged, the internal resistance, that kind of thing, whatever you wanna look at. Here's miscellaneous. This charger will run your motors. It'll warm, do, you know, warm things, whatever you want to use as warmer. It's got an ESC port on it so you can test. Up here is the ESC port. Here's a USB port if you want to charge, you know, your USB batteries that you have. So it's, a, it's way cool. And here's your user data. Finish sound, all the things that you need. So let's get back there. Let's look at that pack that's way out of balance so you can see what happens when the pack is, is out of balance. So I'm gonna disconnect this pack and I'm gonna to go to uh, this 6S pack that I've got. Um, so we'll have to change the profile. So we're gonna to go to this profile and we're gonna go here. Well, let's just leave the battery name that, but let's change it to a 6S5000. So we're gonna say, okay, we wanna change that, that voltage. So there's a 6S, and this pack is a 2900 milliamp hour pack. So we're gonna bring it down, 2900. There we go. 6S, 22.2 volts, 2,900 milliamps. So we're gonna back out of there. We're not gonna charge it, we're just gonna, you know, if we were gonna charge it, we'd jump in here, and you can see there at 6S, it says the volt, pack voltage is gonna come up to 4.2 volts. The charge current is gonna be 2.9 amps. The cutoff uh, temperature is gonna be 113, same as, as the other. But let's go down here, let's take a look at the balance on this thing. So here we are in the balance screen. It says there's six cells. The pack voltage is 24.482 volts. The average voltage is 4.080 volts. And the gap voltage is 0.192. So that means this pack is out of, volt, out of balance. But let's take a look. There we can see it here, okay? See, look at that. The pack's way out of balance. And let's go down to the graphic screen. Look at this. 
Cell number five is way out of whack. So we'll have to, you know, use this balance charge. I'm going to go here. So it looks, sees what's going on. Yeah, okay. We got it in auto. We're going to say manual. Okay, there we go. So now, the balancing takes a long time, so this may maybe take a couple, three hours actually to, to balance this pack and bring this cell up to voltage. So that's about it for how to use this Polarin on, uh, to balance your cells. I really like it. I like the color graphic user interface. I like the touch screen. I like that they give me this little plastic touch wand so I'm not beating it up with my fingers. Not that I haven't before, but this really works good, this little touch uh, 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 stylist. And um, that's pretty much it. So let me back out here a little bit and you can have a look, see what's going on. And Okay, thank you guys. See ya.